Dylan Moore with Irita TV coming to you today. It is Saturday, January 15th, 15th. Yes. January yeah. 15th, 2022, and I've got three amazing women in here from the Lewis County, well, not from the Lewis County Republican Party, it's, oh, one of them is, but they're all from Lewis County and they're all involved with the Lewis County Republicans and a bunch of other stuff as we're going to here, and I'm sure you guys are going to be more than excited to hear about as well. So first, I wanted to introduce everybody. Um, right next to me, before we change the camera, is Aaron Voles. I got the last name right? Yes. I did? Okay. Yes. Who is Voles. the vice chair of the Lewis County Republican Party, if her tattoos didn't give that away? Yes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and then across from me, I've got Rachel, and I forgot the last name. Anderson. Anderson. That was actually an easy one to remember. Yeah. Well... Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Who's the chair of the Young Republicans in Uh, Lewis County. Yep. And then I've got Lacey Clark, who has many monikers. Yes. And aliases? Aliases. No, not aliases. uh, Titles, monikers. Involved in a lot of stuff within Lewis County and outside of Lewis County. But I think uh, what most people listening to this will probably recognize is you were involved in helping organize Dr. Frank's Cyber Symposium. Correct? Mike Mike Lindell's Cyber Symposium. Mike Lindell's. Oops. Dr. Frank was there. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so thank you so much for driving all the way up from Lewis County, which is two hours from here? Yeah. Yeah. Two and a half. Two and a half mm-hmm. hours. Mm-hmm. Um, I 5 is gorgeous if you can actually see something and the traffic's not that bad. So I hope that was the case. It was a good day. <laughs> yes. So Lots of good. tents. Lots of tents? <laughs> yeah, just through Seattle. Right? No, oh, you got Olympia it's in a bit. Oh, yeah. It's spreading. Well, it even is. From, even from I 5, you can see it. Yeah. yeah. The and, disease and, is spreading. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's pretty bad. So maybe tweakers are something that's going to be a topic that comes up at some point in this conversation. Oh, oh we could talk. Yeah. We can talk about <laughs> but, tweakers. But, but before we talk about tweakers, <laughs> I wanted to ask um, there's something a little bit unique happening in Lewis County that's kind of. Uh, different from the rest of the western side of this state, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I was wondering if you three, and whoever wants to start can start, if you three could give me a little bit of an idea of what's interesting in Lewis County Republican Party. Well, or in general, Lewis County. Well, Lewis County is, um, it's a dark red county. It's on the I-5 corridor. We're located halfway between Portland and Olympia. and Which are... Dark is blue is they they it's are about Antifa. As, they're an, both Antifa level. Yeah, they're Antifa yeah. level dark blue cities. <clears throat> um, and <clears throat> excuse me, we have all of our elect almost all of our elected officials are Republicans. The Republican Party is extremely active. It's very present, and uh, we keep our community. We keep it clean. We we try to. Um, get people involved in the party so they feel connected to the community. Um, but we are the reddest county on the West Coast. Yeah. It, uh, in the West Coast? Like the whole... Well, <sighs> I would say I've Hive Corridor, but... Well, that is the West Coast. I challenge yeah. the West Coast. <laughs> I challenge yeah. anyone I mean, to debate. We're about yeah. as red okay. as it we gets. Are, if there's really a redder are. county, I, I'd like someone to point it out, yeah. please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We okay. ha- we have a giant sign in Chehalis that literally trolls liberals. Yes, the Hamilton is it, what, is, sign. Is it that the one with a uh, uh, yeah the Uncle, Uncle Sam, Sam sign? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Sign, yeah. It's a beautiful, wonderful thing. Yes, liberals constantly want to take it down. They've tried burning it. Yeah, down. I was going to say, hasn't there been um, <laughs> acts of terrorism? Or yes, maybe not acts of terrorism, but paint. vandalism. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. My favorite is they try to go through our elected officials <laughs> to change zoning. <laughs> <laughs> rules and laws to get it taken down, and they can't do that because all of our elected officials are in on it. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's a good sign. Yeah, <laughs> almost all of us. So the good one. So yeah, we we have some uniqueness in the fact that uh, it's red surrounded by blue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's unique about the red itself? Did that question make sense? It's new red. It's new red. It, yeah, t- it's, t- not, t- it's not old red. T- tell me about yeah. the difference between new and old red. Uh well. Well, let, let me let me rephrase the question this way: What might you see happening in your red area that you may not see happening in some other red area? We're about as active as it gets. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we're out yeah. and we're proud and we're loud. Yeah. And you know, you talk about people like I've talked to people in the in Thurston County that their Republican Party they don't they they're not active. They don't do anything. So mm-hmm. yeah. there's more youth getting involved. <laughs> we have fostered the Lewis County Young Republicans. They help us organize events. 
They bring youth to the table. Um, we'll be able to recruit young leaders through the Young Republicans, and um, it's it's pretty incredible. And we don't you don't see that a lot in a lot of the parties because they're so afraid to pass the torch. Right. Well, and then Snohomish County, which is the county that we're in right now, is I think a very good example of that. Which is, I don't think it, it might be Thurston County level, which is a, a <coughs> Olympia area, which is anti zone. This county, yeah. this county is more purple. It's not fully anti zone here. Right. But um. Yeah, j- just hanging out at the Snohomish County Republican Party. It's not 100% old. It's like 78% old of – I don't know if they don't want to pass the torch or there's nobody there to pass the torch to, but yeah. Right. I, yeah, it's, I would, it's like that everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. I would say that uh, the young through the young Republicans and then additionally just the youth that's, that's starting to get involved in our county party, um, we are – we're actively trying to pursue things that, that – keep people interested so we host events like activism training events with uh like glenn morgan mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who's, who's a big time activist in washington state yes yeah right um we organize the csg center for self-governance training in our county and plan to do the rest of those awesome yeah. but we're we're trying to keep the community engaged mm-hmm. yes how are you guys faring against the covid tyranny coming down the washington state pipeline it doesn't it, it really, barely affects us. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really exist in our county. Um I mean there are people who wear masks. I mean that's their choice, but Are there Karens who wear masks that will get in your face about not wearing one? Only no Twitter tards. No. Right. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. I've have you ever had somebody come up to you and like yell at you in our county? Well, I've not had them yell at me. So I was at Walmart and I was, you know, checking out at the at the counter and, and, and the woman who was who was um running the register I could see by her mask, which was very ineffective, that she, she was, you know, she was in my my corner. I was not wearing a mask, and there was this little Twitter tard, as I like to call them. <laughs> she was wearing a Gucci mask, mm, and oh. she had a it's more effective a a hat with like a knit cap with like teddy bear ears, so you could take her really seriously. Yeah. So she looks over at me, and she's like, you know, the people that are aren't wearing masks are the one that are spreading COVID. And I was like, I was like, excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? She was like, the ones that aren't wearing masks are the ones that are spreading COVID. I was like, I already had it. Yeah. And she's like, oh. And then the other lady, the lady who was running the register, she's like, yeah, I had it too. And then the best part is she's like, she showed me her phone. She's like, I just made $50,000. I was like, good for you, dip. Dip shit. <laughs> so I, I mean, that's about that as bad as so it gets. Random. That it's is so did random. You, did she really random. make fifty thousand dollars? I, I if you just made, didn't if you just care. made fifty thousand dollars, what was she buying at Walmart? Exactly. What do you know? <laughs> buying, buying shit at Walmart. That's I'm weird. Sorry, but yeah. Mm-mm. No, but we don't Risking wear masks. Health in a Walmart. That's that is right. Dangerous. Yeah. 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 Like that's our thing. Like we're sick of it. We're not gonna give, do it now. Yeah. We're just no muzzles. Not happening. Nope. Well, and the CDC already says that cloth masks don't work anyway. Well, th- so. yeah. They said that at the beginning. They did. Yeah. They did. Yeah. yeah. They backtracked. But my theory is, so they said it, and then they're like, wait a second, all these people, they're not going to be able to get access to the masks that all the, you know, healthcare workers need. So we just got to back down on that and say, oh, yes, you got to wear the, the cloth masks absolutely work. If, as long as there's two layers, buy your cloth mask, have your mama and your grandma make it for you, and you'll be fine. And that way they could push forward all of this, you know. Drench it all- in flame retardant. Don't forget to yes, exactly. breathe that in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think that they did that so that they could push forth their their draconian law or mandates. They're not laws. Um, mm-hmm. And then now now that they found out that the, the Omicron doesn't, it's not that deadly. They're like, oh, I guess we can back off on that. <laughs> and the cloth well, masks don't work we, after we, all. We found out that COVID wasn't that deadly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I, we I, know yeah there's, a, there's part of the population that it hit. Okay. Oh, yeah. But for yeah. everybody else, it's just not that bad. They all had the flu. Yeah. Yeah. And I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't gotten sick at all since all this crap started. Nothing. You're yeah. probably Call me. I got better. this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just come down to Lewis County. We'll get it to you. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one's wearing any masks. Uh, so, I actually meant the remedy. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> we digress. Yeah. So, I mean, let, let's get back to what's the... <clears throat> and I'm not asking this as Lewis County or even Washington State. What's the problem in your guys' view of the Republican Party at the moment in the whole country? complacent 
Yeah. Don't comfortable yeah. being comfortable but losing. Ineffective. Well, that's yeah. how they raise money. Yeah. I mean, I was complacent a year ago uh, before, you know, the election of 2020. Yeah, but were you, were you in the but party a year ago? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'm yeah, you're, you're outside of the party. I'm okay, talking about okay, okay. the party itself, not not the people in general, but the Republican okay. Party itself is is infamous at this point for falling on their sword at, at like, you guys got the super majority. We can finally yeah. do the thing with yeah. the stuff. And John McCain's like, eh, now nah, we're not going to do it. And then the whole thing falls yeah. apart. I don't right? actually know if, if um, the people that have been involved in the party in our county for the last 30 plus years, I don't know if they were ever as enthusiastic as we were I don't yeah. you know who knows what brought them to politics sometimes it's just an interest sometimes mm-hmm. it's a family thing and yeah. you know generationally people were involved but um I would say at the very least now they're tired yeah and they don't have the energy to mm-hmm. fight and um they don't want to yeah do you suspect, and obviously this wouldn't be the case for everybody, that they like losing? I don't think they like no. losing. Let, let, let me make a case for it. Okay. So, and then I, I don't mean the people actually running for office. I mean the power uh, requires the, 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 responsibility. Ding. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So if, if if they were to actually win, they would actually have to do the stuff that they ran on. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they'd be responsible for, for, for either doing it or not doing it. But if they just continue to lose over and over again, they get to keep their place of petty power. They can keep raising funds. Mm-hmm. And it just kind of blurs forever. Mm-hmm. Right? Would so, I mean would you say that's inaccurate? I think it's accurate to an extent. Yeah. But uh what I s- recognize is the past like thirty uh years have been really good in this country. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, besides 2008, but before that, it's been like pretty good, easy living in this country. And they were debating taxes. And now we're debating... Freedom. Freedom. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And um, it was just a whole different conversation that they had to go through. It's a great point, Rachel. What we are going through now is going to affect our whole lives. Yeah. And so here we are getting into it like, what have you guys been doing? Why are we in the circumstance that we're in now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, we've been learning, but it's all like, what have you been doing? Like, um, you know, be more enthusiastic for us. Think of the future. And and to your point, I got an email the other day from the Snohomish County Republican Party saying, uh, because I think our council is is two red, three three blue right now on the Mm -hmm. the Snohomish Mm -hmm. County Council. I think so. And the... I got this email from the Republican Party going, the council, the the Democrats in the council want to raise your property taxes from like 2.3 to 2.3. Six or you know, something, and and come to the meeting and let them know that you don't want to do that. And I'm like, okay, no, I don't want my property taxes going up. But is this what you're rallying the troops for right now? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like this, this is what, yeah. like, with all the stuff going on right now, I'm not concerned about this modicum of property taxes going up. I'm concerned about the COVID tyranny coming yeah. through, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just you know, some of the Republicans, um, we went to a town hall and one of the elected say, what do you want me to do? Jump up and down? I said, people are losing their livelihoods and their jobs. Mm-hmm. I yes. want you to jump up and down. Yeah. For yes. If yeah. we are, do if we are a dance, you're going to do it with us. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. you represent us. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know, we put, you know, put them over the coals because yeah. what are you doing? I don't see it. Yeah. Making a little social media post isn't good enough you need to be amongst the people because the people are suffering Mm -hmm. and so you know we've been really good in our county um i know a lot of people haven't lost their jobs a lot um at the county level Mm -hmm. uh because of vaccine mandates but i know a lot of the state workers have and it's it's starting to um affect us a little bit but a lot of our local um, like police officers will kind of step up. So it's. Can you give me an nice. example of that? What do you mean? Um, so like, like the sheriff's department. Mm-hmm. Um, they've kind of been out more 
um, doing things. Like, I don't have a specific example. You, you, you mean but, like, uh, not necessarily doing things like, hey, we got the bad guy, but more like, hey, here's us supporting the community sort of stuff. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. we're not going to get it from the state. <laughs> Well, and so we took we did that Glenn Morgan training, and he talked about um, a lot of a lot of times these lawmakers need people to come up with ideas of laws because they don't know everything. They no, don't right. know everything. They yeah. need they do need our feedback. Um, and I I think a lot of people just say, why aren't you doing these things? And where we do have the power, and we're able to do that. So that that's where we're trying to get people energized and empowered. And we can embrace that power to help our laws change for the better because we've just been giving it to the Democrats. And, yeah. and and that's one of the things with the Republican Party. You know, we are on the right side of the Constitution. We do have our 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 values can resonate with everybody. I mean, we, we gay like the gay community, like whoever, because it's all about freedom. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> where was I going with that? Um what was I going to say? Gosh, Influencing it. lawmakers. Influencing yeah. lawmakers. So, so and yeah. Feel, people like, feeling powerless. Yeah, people are feeling yeah. powerless. And, and what they don't know is they do have the power and they can they can help these lawmakers change. And that way we can we can strengthen our party and make actual change within our, our state. And, yeah. and the Republicans oftentimes, like, they're the party of compromise. And yeah. we keep compromising with kind of the devil. Yep. And we need Who to stop Who doesn't compromise. It. They, ju- they just... Right. They just keep yeah, coming and coming just, and coming they, and coming exactly. and coming. Yeah. They'll never we, stop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they'll never stop. And yeah. so you have to. There will be a booster to, tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Didn't Glenn say that we need to be on the offense now? Yes, not we the do. Defense. Yes, we do. So we need to be on the offense. So, yep. Can you guys? Do you guys have anything on the offensive happening right now that you're open to talk about? I mean, you and I have been talking about yes. stuff. <laughs> but that, that's. I mean, maybe, maybe we could. Maybe we could talk about that a little bit. No, we'll, nah. we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. That'll be that, that, that'll, that'll be a it separate video. Overlaps a little bit. Well, I mean, we could talk about school boards. Yeah, tell me about school boards. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things that's been going on. Um, is a lot of a lot of moms have gotten pissed because they're learning what is going on with their children's education, and they're they're angry. And they go and they try to have a voice like they're supposed to, but then they're called terrorists. Domestic terrorists. Yeah. Right. Um, I actually had Mark Hare in here at mm-hmm. one point. D- did you guys hear how the domestic terrorism label it works for, for these people now? So, so it's the, the, through the FBI and stuff, well, right? like, There's two ways to, to be a terrorist, a domestic terrorist in the United States. Okay. The first way is you do something violent, you blow up a building or sure. a car or something, and you're connected to an international organization. Right. Right. That's oh. one. Okay. With that one, you could be um, labeled and charged as a domestic terrorist. The other way is if you appear to intend to intimidate. <laughs> That's so vague. Let me say that again. Appear to intend to intimidate. Do I appear to be intending to intimidate you right now? Lacey, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so intimidated right now. If you appear to be intending to intimidate a, a public official, that can get you the label <laughs> Of domestic so terrorists, vague. but they can't charge I, you yeah. for it. So it are like they a going, badge of honor? Yeah are <laughs> yeah. are they going to admit Antifa is now? No, no, no. I think no. they are. No, but but they? here's the thing that's <laughs> happening. Here's the thing that's happening with with these parents and this mm-hmm. this like I mean because it's totally bizarre. Like domestic terrorist, what? Where the hell did this shit come from? Right, mm-hmm. right. Is so. I mean. Take for example the guy whose daughter was raped by that. Oh right, yeah. not, not not even a tranny, just a, just a guy oh, in a dress, right? I mean, give me a break. Yeah. Who clearly went in that room? Um, he was doing all that for a reason. Yeah, yeah right. He was so um, he comes to the school board, pissed off, and starts yelling at everybody. Mm. Does he appear to be intending to intimidate a public official? Yeah. How dare damn he. right. <laughs> How dare you? So, know? so by the laws that exist, that's enough for the, the, the domestic terrorist label. Now, right. Mark, Mark was pointing out that th- this is a long term game, which is, of course, everything they're doing is is long term game. Mm-hmm. Is that they, they they slowly put these pieces together? Yes. So th- th- there's there's two pieces here. First, get the label, then get the ability to charge. If they try to do it both at once, it's just too too ridiculously and that's obvious. How everything. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. That's how everything works. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's what's that's what's what. what 
the FBI is not just making it up. They're like, oh, we just feel like calling these guys domestic terrorists nope. today. No, Somebody no. made that up before and got it worked into the law a while ago, and yeah. now they're just finally referring to it. Yeah, yeah. which right. is exactly the issue with the the WAC two four six dash one hundred. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Want, should we talk about that? We should yeah, talk we about should. that okay. a little bit. Okay. If we're done with that, we can. Sorry, go. am I segueing? Well, let's yeah. go. Okay, one last no, no, point. We, we, we actually no, we didn't finish school board. That's yeah, good we did. Oh yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So, well, you've been really working on that down south, right? Uh, I I just helped support uh, the people who are actually working down south. Yes, yeah. Washugo yeah. moms. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So just so so help. what's the, I mean? Describe what's the problems that we're seeing in the school board specifically that that you're talking about, and what sort of support. So I so originally um, parents having an issue with CRT and sorry uh, <laughs> CRT that, that was my phone, phone. okay, was okay. My was, fell was, off the chair yeah. it wasn't my equipment was I'm it lucky yeah. it wasn't me is that your new phone too shh uh. <laughs> don't worry about it when one of okay. us are talking you can okay. dip down because the camera won't be on you oh okay. I'm not worried about it okay. So uh, originally what it was is uh, these school boards were getting together and and uh, basically talking about how they were going forth with CRT and and the sex ed and all the things. And some moms showed up, and obviously the people that were there could tell that they were not on board. Mm -hmm. And so um, they pretended to close the meeting. I think I heard about this. Ushered everyone out. Uh, The ladies got in their cars and left, and then were told by someone who stuck around that they just went ahead and had the meeting. Yes. So Uh they were actually... um, arrested from the premises because they returned the door was locked obviously that is a violation of the open public meetings act right um they were mocked (laughs) arrested charged with trespassing it was a whole thing so um essentially they've been fighting the school board this whole time they found candidates to run they supported them campaigned for them i believe one or two that they were trying to get in did. The point is it exposed a process. It exposed that the school board themselves actually are not the highest level that this is coming from. Mm -hmm. And you can change your school board, but it's bigger than that. This ha- this is higher than superintendent. This is higher than than all of that. They're superintendent, you mean the school superintendent or Correct. the state superintendent? Correct. Yeah. So Right. So National School Board Association level type of yep. fuckery. And can I say that? I can. Of course. Okay. Go for it. Uh, My mother will be listening to this podcast. Well, sorry, Mom. <laughs> um, so it exposes when, when you can then get your people in place, right? Right. And their hands are tied. Then you see that this is a bigger issue. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. we start to find out that there's there's different levels that we need to be focused on and how do we do that and then for clarity's sake you mentioned the national school board association and that these school boards have their hands tied right now at least in washington state and i'm sure this is happening at some level everywhere is the state is looking at the school boards going if you don't do what we say we pull the money correct yeah and so the school board members are going well if i don't do this there isn't going to be any school right right that's yeah. that's where the hand tying comes from, and that so the, by law in Washington State, the school boards have to be part of the Washington State School Board Association mm-hmm. by Washington State law. Yep. Now, the Washington State School Board Association is then connected to the National School Board Association. Right. Yep. So there's this direct pipeline from the national level mm-hmm. shump, right mm-hmm. down to your local level. Yep. Which is you know when the the Virginia douchebag mm-hmm. running for governor, running for governor. The incumbent. Oh, the other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. incumbent okay. yeah. Um, uh, made, yeah. made the comment about, uh, uh, I don't think uh, parents should be telling schools what they should be telling their uh, you know, teaching ch- children. Right. Everybody freaked out. Yeah. And then the domestic terrorist thing came out right after that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and then all these states started pulling themselves yes, away from, from the, from the National, National School Board Association. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is yeah. so huge. It mm-hmm. is. Right? Because that's. You won't see that happen in Washington. You, you won't be seeing that happen in Washington, but. To flip it back to you, that's one of the, that's one of the things that needs to happen in Washington, yeah. right? Yes, <laughs> and that's the thing is they're going to see it and yeah. they're going to be on guard. Yeah. They so are. Chris Reichdahl, we're coming for you. Chris Reichdahl <laughs> is the uh, <laughs> superintendent of public instruction in Washington State, which is a executive electable position, just like the governor. Um, I'd yes. like to restate what I just said. We're coming for your position. <laughs> yes. So 
Charlie Kirk I'm not a domestic came terrorist. like a few months ago and talked in Pierce County, and he said something that really struck with me. Mm-hmm. Um, he said that they're trying to kind of uh, instigate like more and more and more because they want people to act and they want people to kind of be violent. Oh, and so out. he yeah. said that um, it's incredible how people have been so patient mm-hmm. and it, it's we don't not what no trouble exactly Just and it's not it. what they are expecting mm-hmm. and so it has been working in our favor and so i think they're going to probably push Ramp harder up. and harder because yeah, they well, want that well, person yeah, to act they want the person to act because that is oh we found the actual domestic terrorist or yeah. Yeah. whatever January right January six. yeah it the, justifies situation. their treatment of us yes, yes. And, and it helps them speed up, mm-hmm. for example, I mean, let's talk, I think it would be a good time to transition into the, the WAC you were oh, talking yes, about, yes, right? Yes. So WAC being Washington State Administrative Code, which is, you know, you have the lawmakers, which makes the law in Washington State, that's RCW, mm-hmm. Revised Code of Washington, and then the mm-hmm. regulators have to make rules within that law, which is the Washington Administrative Code, right? Mm-hmm. And so do you want to tell us about what just happened? Well, sure. Uh, the point I was making earlier is just that uh, they don't do, they may have a plan, and maybe people involved in the plan don't know all the parts of the plan. They don't even realize there is a bigger plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people are just doing their jobs. But um, unfortunately, they do have a plan. Yeah. And WAC 246 100 in its entirety lays out that plan. I mean, it is a movie script, it is unbelievable. Now, th- th- this is the one for quarantine and isolation, right? Yes, among okay. among other things. Right. But yes. Yeah. So it's my understanding, as of right now, the way that the WAC stands right now, um, a Board of Health official, some person yes. from unelected bureaucrat from the Board of Health, yep, if they yep. make a determination that any of us need to be quarantined, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they without a judge without a judge involved, they can immediate it, orders. Immediate orders. Mm-hmm. Um, not impel, but uh, what's the word I want? Not force, but they can make the police arrest you. Uh, uh, now, well, not, in it, theory, it, it, I'm not saying the police are going to do it, right? But that, that's what the the, the yeah. fucking rule says. It, right? uh, <laughs> it actually yeah. states that law enforcement has to comply with their order. There we go. That, yeah. Thank yeah. you, thank you. But for right now, it's, it's but nobody's doing it HIV right now. and that kind of thing. Right, Par- now, parts of it. No, right? the part that he is talking about, I think it's two four six dash one hundred dash zero seven zero. It's either 040 or 070, and no, it doesn't state anything about HIV. It says explicitly what he just stated, that a, uh, that a health officer can make the determination that you're a risk, and they can put out an order to have you detained against your will until you comply with treatment, testing, it says vaccination, uh, all the above. Yes. And it states that law enforcement and sheriffs are required by an RCW I don't know which one, but it's it's is listed it, there. That, well, there has to be an RCW because yeah. they have to work right. within the RCW. Yeah. yeah, of course. But it states that uh, according to that RCW, they the law enforcement is supposed to carry it out. Mm-hmm. It's already there. It's unreal. It's already, it's already, yeah. already there. It's just been sitting there. Who knows how long it's been sitting there? Yeah. Well, right? I know that they they did address parts of the WAC in October of 2019, just before Inslee got his emergency order or emergency powers granted to him in November of 2019. Oh. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's no there's plan. no correlation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, not at yeah. all. And, there's and nothing random. ominous going on here. Just at all. in case no. we're accused of spreading misinformation, I do want to add to that that yes. The the um, health official must try to get you to do it voluntarily first, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if That's you don't, not if you, happening. If you don't comply voluntarily, then they can. They can, they can. and yeah. and people think that that is insane. They think that's crazy. They think that's a conspiracy theory. Read the whack. Yeah, comprehend what you're looking yep. at. What's the, what's the number again? Two four six dash one zero zero dash. Well, read the whole thing. Yeah, the yep. whole thing. <laughs> Read the yeah. whole, all of it. Yeah. Terrifying. It's scary stuff. Yeah. yeah. So we, I mean, we ended up at the state level back then. We were starting at the county level here, and I, I know I can't say. Well, what's Lewis County doing about this level of stuff? But uh, there, our sheriff is very interested, very intrigued, and does not buy for a second the um, explanation that he was given. Yeah. Good. And we're not. Yeah, we're not um, going anywhere. 
we'll yeah, well, we'll and that, all those that's meetings. a good point. Bringing yeah. up, bringing up the sheriff because I mean, to me, it takes about 0.5 seconds of consideration to realize that that whack is obviously unconstitutional, <laughs> right? From, yeah. from, uh, from yep. state or from federal. Absolutely. I mean, just obviously, yep. duh. Mm-hmm. Right now, part of the game is from our. Um, I don't know what. I like to say Illuminati overlords. I know that's not exactly the <laughs> best way to put it, but it's fun for me to say that. From our Illuminati overlords, part of the game is, yeah, we know it's not with the rules, but if we put it out there and people do it, then it becomes the rule. Yeah. Right? right? Yeah. It's uh, it's literally all about compliance. Yep. Whoever, yeah. whoever will carry it out. Yeah. If somebody will, we're going to be, I mean, you're forced fighting it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. there's always going to be somebody willing. So, yeah. now, so going back to the sheriff, mm-hmm. if the sheriff's like... <laughs> No. Well, then, I'm not saying that completely nerfs it. No, it doesn't. No. But that, I, I mean, that's the difference between compliance and not. Yes. Yep. Right? So, I guess it's, that is something it, it could be done at the county level. Yeah, right? it can. And then, um, segueing a little bit here, this is, this is I guess, connecting the county and the state. Can you guys tell me a little bit about, I got her name written down here, um, Jamie Herrera Butler. Oh, Jamie. Jamie Herrera Butler. I, can I say Benedict Butler? Because I do not have a tiara or a title in the party. Yeah. <laughs> you may. So, I am not offended. So re- anybody watching, remind them really quickly who, who this individual is. She's supposed to represent the people she was elected to many, so many years ago. I think she got real comfortable uh, with... As a congressional... She's District 3. Uh, yes, Congress, District 3. Congresswoman. Mm-hmm. Congresswoman, yep. Uh, she used to vote kind of along the lines that that we do and we would and uh anymore she's forgotten who she was elected to represent she voted to impeach trump she's part of the january 6th commission Mm -hmm. she um uh recently more recently has voted away our civil and constitutional rights along with dan newhouse yeah all right Um, we, we, we've got two Republican congressmen from Washington State that voted to impeach Trump, by the way. Yeah. We're, we're working on that as part of the conversation. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that that's supposed to be a Republican no-no. A Republican shouldn't go after another Republican. Oh, I've been yeah. told, told that, that all the time. time. We've been right. scolded about and that in our, in yes, our own, sure in our own yeah. front yard. Yes. And so, you know, we all kind of don't like her. I mean, I voted for last election, Same. and uh, pretty sure y'all did too. And uh, we're very disappointed. We are. We yeah. are very disappointed. But you know, she went after our Republican president. She sure did. Well, she's and currently like going that. after our personal rights. So yeah, yeah, she's doing that too. That's worse. So, is there a, a, a replacement coming up for her? There are options. There's options. Everybody available. wants is, to be is, king. Is there a good option? Yep. Yeah, that's another potentially. Okay, that's another thing that we could probably talk about. I mean, we I can talk about that. I mean, that's do you want this to? is the, the problem with what she's done is she's she's made her seat extremely. And I don't know of the word, but it's. I mean, we can we can end up with a Democrat so easy now. We could. But, I mean, that's the what, thing. I, I do have an argument for that. Is if you've got a Republican that's that. Two faced, isn't it better to have a, a Democrat? Because I mean, you got to suffer while the Democrats there, but while you're suffering while the Democrats there, you allow the, the Republicans to congeal and get pissed off and say, "Okay, we really need to, to replace this person." Whereas I don't think so. I don't think so. The floppy Republican, it's like, well, yeah, you know, but she's we not. Better, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. The okay, thing yeah. with Correct that me then. is, the Democrat wouldn't vote with us at all. Period. She. Does do maybe forty percent with us? Yeah, but and I would I, think that's what that I'm saying. I'd rather better. have zero, just so we we'd have a common enemy. No, <laughs> no, to be honest, because I look would at how have some. I don't yeah. want to lose any. None. I don't want to lose any red seats. And I no. understand the, the whole color thing. It's it's just your your cheese, right? You got red cheese yeah. or blue cheese. It's still cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's the yeah the a paradigm conversation could happen at another time. But uh, <laughs> the point is. Um, I, I would say that if a Democrat got in there, they they would want to make a profound change right away, oh, and, yeah. and we probably wouldn't even recognize the landscape. Mm-hmm. Got it. We're we're trying to be on offense. We're not trying to lose any ground. No. So yeah. we do we have a viable replacements? Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody wants to be king. There's plenty of people running 
mm-hmm. right now. And more recently, more people have joined that race. Yeah. Which is a little bit frustrating it because... Is. It just splits the vote. Yep. 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 It, exactly. it has the potential to. Yes. We're we're in the process of learning as much as we can about, about long-standing candidates for that seat right now. Yeah. Got it. Because I know that Lauren Culp is taking on Newhouse. Right. Yeah. Which... Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on in that area, but my gut is telling me that he'll just take it after. after. I know. You know. Yeah. You know what? What do you guys think of on that one? <sighs> Lauren Culp uh, ran and lost for governor here. Yeah, uh, he as does. Republican side was a grassroots candidate, and which is what, and he had a huge amount of support. Yeah, huge amount. He of support. did. He, he also did. had a huge amount of people running against him for that seat because, like I said, everybody wants to be king, and this is what's frustrating. So, so that's that's one thing because mm-hmm. they're running against a Democrat governor, right? But that's the highest seat in the land. I mean, it's going to be difficult, right? Especially with so many other seats being mm-hmm. blue. Uh, there's all these people that want to run. Why aren't they running against Democrats? Why are we running? Yeah, what? Run yeah. The we can replace position. the rhinos later when we have the majority. Like yeah. that should be a conversation. I yeah. I really don't understand all of this interest in running against people because my pearls are prettier than yours, and I'm clutching them tighter. Like, <laughs> yeah. there's a time and a place, and I, I yeah, I, I don't there's agree. So, that, there's so many smaller level seats that could be taken. By yeah, let's talk about smaller level seats then. So yeah, let's I mean, take them all. I mean, I just learned something <laughs> yes. here because. Like I said, my idea was like, well, just let a Democrat win and let the guys get pissed off and see if they can switch back. And you guys don't think it's a good idea, no, which no. I defer to your not, expertise not in before Washington. mine. Not it, that may work not somewhere else. That's probably not going to work in this state, in this climate right now. No. Okay. Um, so what would be some better seats to go after? I mean, I, school boards, for one. School yeah. boards. Councils. Board, city councils. Mayors. mayors. Oh, mayors. man, we need oh, we boy. need some mayors. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Mayors in Lewis County. <laughs> yes, we and do. Not Lewis County, not just Lewis not, County, yeah. but and our the, area. Are you yes. guys, and I, I don't know well enough to, to answer this question. I'm hoping you guys can. Often there's a lot of bizarre positions the port commissioner or the the, the PUD guy. Well, or the, how about, you know, yeah, how, how, the how, city how, manager? Let's yeah. talk about that. Oh, yeah. That, Let's yeah. talk about, talk city, about manager. city manager. Yeah. Yeah. You, so guys, you guys know exactly what that is after CSG, right? We do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we do. Okay. Please. So that's an unelected position, kind of like a superintendent for school. But they and make a lot of decisions. They do. And a lot they of make, money. Yeah, and it's it's involved with an association as well, right? I don't think. Yes. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So I can't remember what the association yeah, it's, is. It's like the, the the National Municipal Asso- Association or, or s- yeah. something like that. So I'll break this down real quick for, for anybody watching. Okay. So a city manager was an idea that came from our Illuminati overlords um, <laughs> to <laughs> fact checked <laughs> True. to come uh, erode the barrier between the executive and the legislative bodies right. of cities. Mm. Well, what does that mean? So it, it, if – and there's a good chance you're listening to this. Go, go look up the way your cities run. You might have a city manager. Yeah. And what that yep. means is your mayor doesn't do anything. Yep. yep. He's symbolic. Yep. You have a symbolic mayor. Pretty face. And then, and then the city manager pretty much has legislative authority. Mm-hmm. Yep. So you, you, you get this, this weak mayor, weak city council, and the city ma- manager can go around and, and – And they're unelected. The, and if you have a problem yep. with them, how they, do you get rid of them? Yep. You got to yeah. switch back to to you got to vote in a a, um, a strong mayor system again. Yeah, right. Yeah. Which happened in the city of Snohomish a couple years ago. I don't oh, know if you guys did? knew that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, in, in, I didn't two, know in 2016, that. they went from a uh, uh, city manager to city mayor again. Oh, they did. Yeah. Okay. That's great. That's that great. That's good. Yes. So. Um, so we have proof it can happen in Washington State. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And then back to this association. There's a national association that puts these ideas together. And then sends them out all over the country. Mm-hmm. And again, th- this is another example of how, you know, we're supposed to have all these little cities that are all by themselves, and they all make their own decisions, mm-hmm. and they and they think about the, you know, their own current situation, and they say, well, let's get together and come up with this idea to fix this. No, you've got this federal level, and it, and I mean, federal level is not even the right word. It's just this private organization. You have this private organization that comes in and goes, you guys need a city manager with this charter. That we wrote up that we're sending out to every city in the mm-hmm. country, <laughs> yeah. right? And it it's it's stan- I mean, one thing is it standardizes all the cities, but it standardizes in the favor of erasing that border mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. between legislative and executive on the city level. So yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So um, there's no accountability. Yes. Yeah. Your elected people are just pretty faces, and they're not. There's no accountability. And the city manager. And there's no does recourse. It all. Yeah. They just put forth ideas. Yep. Yes. And so if you didn't elect your city manager, you didn't. Uh, you you can't get rid of them. You can't unelect yeah. them. You can't elect someone else. You have to. I know in one of the nearby cities to Centralia, um, Olympia. Um, <laughs> my husband ran for city council there, and one of the things that, and this was several years ago, um, their city manager was trash, and a lot of the problems that Olympia has is because of their horrible city manager. Um, my husband saw the writing on the wall, and he wanted to get on that council and talk, at least be able to talk to the other city council folks who also didn't like this particular person mm -hmm. and see if they could they could get him gone because there is a way for the the city council they can vote him out yes. they can reelect oh. it you just they have to can, get them so all you have to unified well, right and, and it takes a unanimous vote to do yeah. it yeah and they and they didn't they didn't <laughs> trust my husband because he's an outsider and he's a conservative and, but even though they all agreed on one thing is they did not like the current city manager because he was awful he got hired, and that's when all the homeless problems started. Oh, homeless. Oh, yeah. I, I believe the word you're looking for is tweaker. No, it's houseless. Houseless. Let's houseless. be politically correct here. Tweakers. Let's not trigger or offend those. Tweaker lives matter, folks. Tweaker lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's all marble cake. Yes. yes. And if you don't know what that is, <laughs> take the CSG, CSG training. Yes. yes. Okay, so did we did we cover Jamie Herrera Butler enough, or is there anything else that we want to talk uh, about? That? Uh, can I? She's done. We're done. Yeah, we're done here. Thank you. You can pack up and go home. Yep. Okay, and and you, you you think it's it's over this next next election cycle for her? I think so. Okay. Yeah. The country wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> right? I think so. A yeah. lot of our constituent constituents in our area. Um, they know. They they're, know, they're on to her. They they do, and a lot of them are like, "I used to give so much money to Jamie Herr Butler. Never again. I'm mm -hmm. going to do it to or give everybody it to somebody feels else." Betrayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing the the thing I worry about though is, say she wins the primary. The There's primary, too many Republicans that re will just so refuse many. to vote. Yeah, and we yeah. will end up, with, we'll a end up with a Democrat. Yeah. I don't believe so, I don't believe that she will be voted back in. Yeah, the do, primary. Do you guys have the um, capability to not endorse her as the Republican Party? Our party doesn't endorse candidates. Okay, no. well there in goes that. Lewis County. In Lewis County, can, can other you, parties can you do. Disendorse. Uh, if, 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 <laughs> that's, that if that's a uh, thing, we've been doing it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So can you do yeah. it officially? We disendorse. Disendorse. <laughs> I disendorse. Her. I think we should. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I think, I think it's tough. Should, I think these ladies of... will be careful about how they word things, but I will say that I, I disendorse. I, I think censure is the, the censure, appro appropriate yeah. I mean, word. there yeah. there's a challenge because there are a lot of po people in the party that got her elected. True. Some of them still sometimes agree with her. Some of them don't. So it's sometimes about, people change. We sometimes can... we've been had. Sometimes we were sold a bill of goods. Yep. Maybe with Jamie, she started out just fine, but. Yeah. I think she was over it there got too to long her. and she got yeah. corrupted. I yeah. mean, she's a swamp creature now. Yes. Yeah. So. How can people get involved in... I mean, it doesn't have to be the Republican Party. If people wanted to get involved with the Democratic Party and, and Can we to talk about it. that real quick, actually? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Swamp creatures? No, getting involved in the party. Well, so, so let's bring it up. <laughs> yes, of <laughs> course no. we can talk about that. So, yeah, how do, you, how do you get involved in the party? What I mean... I'd say a year and a half ago, I had no idea what the party looked like, how you got involved, nothing. Mm -hmm. Describe it a little bit. Well, I think the party um, up until about a year ago, even in Lewis County, even though we're you know 70% red, I think uh, it looked a lot different. And I'm not knocking the people that were, that were running the show. I think that um, fresh new ideas, uh, it was time for those to make it on the scene, and they have. And so I think that just the word Republican deters a lot of people, mm -hmm. um, yeah. even especially young people that think that's not that doesn't resonate with me. Well, and then, I mean, for me, with my age, I think George Bush. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So here's yeah. the thing. We yeah. want to take we want to take this established uh, structure and use it 
but we want to completely overhaul it. Like we see this beautiful old house and mm-hmm. we don't want to tear it down. We want Remodel. to gut it yes. Flip that and sucker. rehab yes. it and yeah. make it, you know, a million dollar home or whatever. Well, that's yep. not that much in this area. Okay. We, <laughs> a $50 million <laughs> yes. dollar home. <laughs> a billion dollar home. Yes. The party has good bones. The party has good bones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it most closely aligns with all of our conservative, liberty, freedom loving um, ideas. And yes. so I, I would just say that um, if there are any young people out there that are conservative and your county does not have a young Republicans chapter, please contact us. Yes. We will help you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what about simply becoming a PCO? Because when I discovered uh-huh. yeah. what a PCO was. Because yeah. someone yeah. said the word to me, and I was like, what the heck is that? So PCO, for people who don't know, yeah. is Precinct Committee Officer. Which is this Washington State-specific term. In a different state, yep. it may be... It's else. the same thing, but it's got a different label. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it is the lowest level of the party that you could be involved in. Yeah, it's an, uh, it's an elected position. Yes. Yes. And it's a, I mean, it's kind of a... I Entry mean, I, level. Lowest, that's the lowest it, level. I don't think it's the yeah. lowest level. No. It, you I mean, don't think the so? Low, it's the they lowest vote. level elected position. Um, you are an elected official if you are a PCO. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you are part of the central committee of the party, whichever. You can be a Democrat PCO and you can be a Republican PCO. I, I, think, I think it's any party, right? I'm sure... Any party. I, probably Libertarian P, I, I don't I'm know sh- if there's any of them, so. but it works for any know. party, right? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. I, I don't well, whatever. Does, I mean, for the sake of our conversation, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Either way. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> so you're the one who... You are in charge of your precinct and you're... It's basically... You're the one who rallies the troops and get them to vote for... You know, you vote for the, the party leaders. You help put forth a you know presidential candidate mm-hmm. yeah um yeah it, it, it's a it's a lowly position but it's a powerful position. well and it, it is it, it occurred to me because w- when when i found it out and i looked it up i got a description of what you, what you just said right. which is you're you're basically the rah-rah guy of your precinct yeah yes uh, which is yep. roughly a thousand voters or less right? yes yes um but it occurred to me when i looked at it a little more you're at, you're also the legislative body of your county party. Yes, right. You are. Yes. Right now, here's what got me when I, when I saw I, and I read a little bit more. Yes, it's an elected position. However, if your seat is empty, it's also an appointable position. Yes, right. yes it is. And I, and I called the the party and I said and I, I want to know is my seat empty or not? Right, because you're not going to figure it out by looking at it online. Right. And, and I uh, not only did I find out that my seat was empty. The the chair at the time said there was 375 seats. It's it's more now since the, since the census. There was 300 or not? Excuse me, 735 seats. That was the right number. Only mm-hmm. 211 were filled. Yeah, yeah. that's about right. Yeah. So two thirds or more were empty, and I'm guessing this is indicative of the entire state and sure. pr- and probably yes. a lot of the country. Yep. J- just and, and uh, like immediately I'm on the phone, I'm blown back. I'm like, what 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 went through my head is. Voting majority is appointable. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It is. And, and then 211. That's not the pe- number of people showing up. Right. Mm-hmm. That's the number of people who who are officially PCO. Mm-hmm. Only the people who show up get to vote. Right. Yep. Right. And and then, and then like I'm reeling again, going, oh, I need a hundred people to get a voting majority. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. Yeah. Or, I mean, whatever the number is. And I, I realized that. The whole system's just dying from a lack of participation. Yep, exactly. Yep. Yeah. And people people complain. I don't feel represented by the Republican Party. Well, you don't then have a representative. Show up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> show up. You could be that representative. Yes. Yeah. They, they could, but I think a lot of people just don't know. Yeah. They don't I, know. I, 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 well, me, I didn't know. And yeah. I had to go digging. I mean, it wasn't like PCO, you know, Snohomish County, nothing useful came up. Right. right. I, I think it does now, but at the time, nothing useful came up. And I, I dig into the laws. What is a PCO? What does this even stand for? Yeah. <laughs> right, right? So, um, it's you could show up on the ballot with it, and you, nobody has probably ever seen it on the ballot because it only shows up if it, if it's contested. Yep. yep, right. Right, and so all these seats are empty, and the chance of like two people going after the same seat at the same time, right, is pretty small. It is, and uh, the your chair can impo- the the county chair can appoint you if I, I guess at their whim, I, I believe. Like if they decide they don't like you, they don't have to appoint you. But from what I see, mostly. Mm-hmm. They want more people participating, mm-hmm. so getting yes. appointed is not hard. And yeah, it's uh, it was a lot easier than I thought. Yeah, to get involved. Yeah, 
And you do realize that, you know, that would actually also help with election integrity, having those PCOs get involved with their explain. precincts. Explain. Um, to clean up voter rolls, to yeah. go door to door and maybe do a survey. Hey, did you vote in the last election? It says here you did. You're telling me you didn't. So uh, isn't that what Bill is doing? Bill Brock? Yes. Yeah, well, many things. Bill Brock in Skagit County, he's the Washington State Republican Party EIC chair. Skagit County, just north yeah. of Snohomish County, which is where we are at right, right now. He's yeah. right. He's pretty rare. Very, very rural county. Great guy. Yeah. Yes. Um, he's been involved in canvassing efforts and cleaning up uh, voter rolls and election integrity issues since 2020. Maybe maybe before. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially after 2020, though. Yeah. But um, to your point with the precinct committee officers, um, my my idea, my thought is that the precinct committee officer could be in charge of in-person voting in their precinct. Yeah. And it, with with the opposing part, you know, whatever, sure. however many parties are there, you all get yeah. together to make sure that yeah. we all agree that the way that the that the counting's happening is exactly you tally you keep ballot images you can pass on those ballot images to your county auditor but you keep a copy as well and then by god by the time that those make it to the state level they better damn well match the tally in each precinct yep Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pretty simple yeah Yeah. i I don't think that would cost a whole heck of a lot either it's not like i I bet we save a lot of money over the the zillion million dollars we're paying whatever whatever computer company for our these Voting machines. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I mean, that's that position really has so much opportunity for mm-hmm. people. And it's, you know, something you can be appointed to and you can just get involved. It's fairly easy. Yeah. And if, I mean, if you don't like your leadership in the party, you can change that yeah, as well. You, mm-hmm. you yeah. get, I mean, You're that, the that one was, who that was, decides a, who leads the party. That was yep. the first thing because yeah. I, I immediately went to the, the county bylaws and I'm like, what does it take to replace a party member? And I'm like, well, how many people would I need? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. 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 You just go to each precinct and uh, start talking to people. Yeah. My, my vision aligns with yours. Can yeah. Be a yes. PCO with me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a thing. Like, I, I don't think it would be that hard to just any party. Doesn't matter which one. Sure. Yeah, right. Did, did you just be like, let's just get a bunch of buddies together and just yeah. take it over? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the Lincoln Day dinner coming up. Oh, I, yes. I heard it's going to be a, a, a big hoot nanny. Shindig. <laughs> yes. And yes. you got some cool people showing up. That made it sound a little bit rural. So, Thank so you. So for, for the Republican <laughs> Party, traditionally every year you have the Lincoln Day dinner. The Lincoln Day dinner is your major fundraiser. Um, you bring in... Uh, you have a good, great speaker, and you have an auction, and you bring in as much money as you possibly can for the party, for events, for for um, oh, what else? Outreach, I mean, outreach candidate outreach, recruitment, yes, all training, things. yes, all the things. Yes. So, so um, our party has not had one for the last couple years because um, my COVID, my COVID, my COVID. <laughs> my COVID. Um, it's been it's been a little challenging getting people energized. Um, in in some of the leadership roles to to go with it, but yeah. um, well, and historically it was it was sort of a more low key community yes. focused um, sort yes. of like our annual picnic is. Yeah, um, it w- I don't know that it was as approached as a fundraiser as as more other a, counties do. Yes, and exactly. it, it, like I said, it was pretty low key. Very not, low key. Not very. Very. Um, it was casual. Very casual. It's yes. casual, and it's been um, geared towards more of the locals, um, which is great, and it's good. But we also have other events throughout the, the year. Yeah, we have for plenty of other events. Yeah. yeah, yes, and a lot. A lot of them are free. I mean, pub, you know, PCO trainings. Right. We've got the activism training. We have. We have a picnic, a lovely picnic, in a very beautiful spot every summer. That's for the members of the party. But the Lincoln Day dinner is an—it's an incredibly important event that um, brings people from outside of the community that wants to embrace the party and support it. So that and why would they not want to? I mean, the Republican well, yeah. Party from outside of Lewis County should yeah. definitely be investing in Lewis yes. County because we are so red, right? And we are so you, energized. You actually have a foothold. And as we a can go yeah. flip. Yeah. Di- we right. can help flip districts. Yeah. We've got a good strategy. That's the plan. Um, and the Lincoln Day. So, and we call it a Lincoln Day dinner because um, we celebrate our first Republican president of the United States' birthday 
Abraham Lincoln. Mm-hmm. So hence it's the Lincoln Day dinner. Yeah. Yes. So this one, this one's going to be cocktail <laughs> attire. It's going to be a little bit swankier than I think it probably ever, ever has been in Lewis yeah. County. I don't know. Yeah. And I don't know. are you able to tell me some cool names that are showing up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we've got um, Aaron With, who is the CEO of the Freedom Foundation. Um, one of our big things, you know, we fight public sector unions uh, because they take money from hardworking individ- public mm-hmm. employees and t- give it to the Democrats. Yeah. I mean, that's what the, these big national labor unions do is they take money from from hardworking individuals and give it to the they push they push lobbyists they push democrat candidates they push democrat ideas such as crt and um the sex ed stuff um so this our ceo aaron he's he's a young republican as well he's i think going to be turning 30 and um he's a baby He's a baby. He's a little baby, but he is also seven feet tall. So um, <laughs> he's a big baby. No, he's not. He's pretty amazing. But he's he's fundraised since he's become the CEO, which is just in the last um, year. We've raised ten million dollars, and we have got we reached our one of our goals is we've we've helped a hundred thousand public employees leave their corrupt public sector wow. unions. Mm-hmm. Hundred thousand employees. Now, while keeping their jobs, they got to leave the unions? Well, see, this is the thing. Is yeah, not how, a lot of people. More about that. This what is what's it? important um, for people to know <laughs> is that um, in, Jan- in, ni- uh, in, 19, in 2018, there was a Supreme Court decision called Janus versus Af- AFSCME. And that made, sounds familiar. Keep talking. Yeah. yeah. So that made it so that um, you did not have to pay dues as a condition of employment. So before, when you were employed uh, at at the state or whichever municipality, they force you were forced to pay dues, even though it went against your constitutional rights, because you may not agree with some of the things these national unions, these uh, liberal Democrat unions, are pushing. I mean, you don't Using agree. Using your that, dues, for yeah, it. anti-Christian right. values. Um, Oh gosh, what I mean? Yeah, I'm sure pro-abortion, anti-abortion, second, second yeah. amendment, yeah. Mm-hmm. pro-open borders. Blah, 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 I'm sure. And, and they're the, pri- the gamut. They're, and they're private organizations. They're not public. They're not public. They mm-hmm. get public money, but they're private organizations. So it goes against your constitutional rights, anyway. So that in Jan in 2018, Janus versus AFSCME, AFSCME happened, and um, that's where people started leaving their unions and drought. Like they, you do not have. You can. You because the public because the union signed a contract with the state, they are they have to represent you whether you pay dues or not. Mm-hmm. So, um, and so the Freedom Foundation helps yes. go to those people and say you you don't have to pay for this. Liberate yep. them. Yeah, we liberate yep. them. We tell them you have a choice. And, if and, you and love- I'm sure. That, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm no, sure they're not aware of it yet. Right. I'm not sure the Sup- Supreme are. Court thing happened and and there wasn't like trumpets coming from the heavens going, you no longer have to pay it. That, that <laughs> didn't mean, happen at all. Well, and that's, right? that's the thing. Is <laughs> it's like, hush hush. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. We, we canvas. We try and tell as many people as we possibly can. You don't have to pay dues. You do not have to pay dues. You will keep your job. You'll keep your benefits. You may lose um, the the monthly publication that the union sends you. Darn or, it. or the. Oh, the the discounts or the free shoes or whatever. I mean, there there's a few things that they they give, but it's they, these these unions get millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Yeah, mm-hmm. millions. Um, and they don't give it back to their employees. They keep it, they keep it in DC. Right, that's where it goes. Um, so where was I? We, we were talking about the Lincoln Day <laughs> yeah, dinner. Yeah, and you yeah. brought up, what, what was his name? It was it it's was Aaron Aaron with Aaron with. with. Mm-hmm. Aaron with. Yes. With like, I'm going with this person over there. Yeah, with any on the end, right? Yeah, he's yeah. he's 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 um he just became a naturalized um American citizen, but he is uh, well, is naturalized the Where's word. Where's he from? He's from uh, Birmingham, England. There we go. Yeah, and he hates he hates England. Yeah. <laughs> he hates yeah. Birmingham it's, so it's, much. It's a fake country it's, at this point. It's awful. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, um, so what we and, and, and this is a. This is another interesting point, and I'm going to ramble on a little bit about him because he, I mean, he's a pretty interesting guy, and my job's pretty awesome. Just saying. So we, I, She's I do public. Re- I know I get excited. So I do public records <laughs> requests. That's my job. I, I, I'm kidding. You're getting I, paid less. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get, I get, I collect information so that we can contact um, employees and let them know that they have so a choice. So you, it's literally your job. 
to find more and more public sector yeah. employees and say, you don't have to pay dues. Yeah, and you, you don't have to pay dues. Stop paying dues. That's yeah. hot. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty sexy. Um, so uh, just yesterday at work, one of our lawyers, um, she's she was fighting with Woofsy, which is um, – I know. I these, know. Names. These, these, these names. Washington <laughs> Federation of State Employees. Uh, yeah, Whoopsie. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Acronyms are so they're, dumb. It, they're they're it's they're they're an aso- they're an association. They're they're part of AFSCME, which AFSCME is like the the worst of the worst of the labor unions. Okay. Um, so they're literally fighting us, saying that if we are collecting people's information, that we're going to put these people in danger. <laughs> and we're like, we're not doxing them. No, we're no. getting public. Public information, like, and if they we're putting have a you in danger that, from not getting as much money. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So they're they're trying to say that what we're doing is going to put people in danger, and and we follow all of the laws, mm-hmm. every single public records law. We we follow it, and um, and it just goes to show you that they're just trying to they're just trying to fleece these people and try mm-hmm. and hide the fact that they don't have to be a part of so, them. So. Once you get the information, you get the person's information. You just cold call. Hey, did you know that you no, didn't? We have, we like, we um we send out emails. We send out um we send out some like publications and I mean and and if you're you need a, somebody cold calling, we do that too. Okay, a little bit. I mean, I'm, I, I mean, are you volunteering? <laughs> yep, I'm pretty expensive. Robocalls, <laughs> robocalls aren't always effective because so many people just they don't accept them. When's the last time you accepted a robocall? I do it every day. So there's a <laughs> you listening too, but you we need to look up the Black Swan Group. Oh, okay. Chris Voss, he's an ex FBI mm-hmm. negotiator. You know who I'm talking about? Yes. Who uh, talks about he, he he trains private sector people now on negotiations, which you oh. know a lot of times it's like real estate agents yeah. and stuff mm-hmm. that, that he's that he's training. But he's he's been trained on what psychologically happens to you when you hear a certain word. Oh. Oh. And then he gave he gave an example that uh, uh, I think this was for a party fundraising. I, it might mm-hmm. not have been a party; might have been, might have been something else. But it doesn't matter for the sake of this conversation. Yeah. And they were, you know, they were doing cold call f- fundraising, and they had a script that they were going through. And one of the big things he teaches people first off is you need to ask no oriented questions instead of yes oriented questions. Oh, so is this a good time to talk? Because I want you to say yes, right? Uh. What goes to your head? No. No, definitely not. No, 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 no. I, I mean, it comes to no. Yeah. But is this a good time to talk? Do I want to talk to you? Do I want to talk about what you want to talk about? How long am I going to be talking to you? Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. I, 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 you you got to right. answer all four of those yes. Yeah. Right? And what's coming next? Like, what else do you want me to Because we, yeah. we've, I, like, from these 1980s sales techniques that we've all been battered with, yeah. it's like, if I can get you to say these little yeses. I can get you to say the big yes at the end. Mm-hmm. So we're all, like, really wary of saying yes. Like, okay, I said yes. What did I just say yes to? Yeah. Right? Is this a bad time to talk? Oh, that's very no. interesting. And what happens psychologically is that now you have the person's attention. Like, when I try to get you to huh. say yes, your, your mind is going, what am I saying yes to? If, it's, if I get you to say no, you feel comfortable saying no. No. I need to learn so many things, but I can we this. just download it like Matrix style? I have time yeah. to yeah. hear or listen so, or read anymore. So the, the example that he gave with this party, I think, uh, doing this cold call fundraising is um, either one of these guys was a student or one of these guys was connected to one of his, something like that, is he said, okay, take all these questions that you have and just rewrite them so you want no instead of yes. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I think it was like they raised 66% more money or something That's th- that day. That's crazy. That wow. is cool. And the the funny story is the boss came back and went, "No, you can't just change everything. That's a fluke." <laughs> and they and he flipped it back to to the the yes oriented stuff. But huh. um, huh. the point being is that yes, people are sick of robocalls, and mm-hmm. um, there's a guy out there who's cracking that code. <laughs> yeah, nice. Huh. Yeah. So black uh, swan. The black swan group. The black swan group. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of cracking codes. Uh, that yes. is a segue That's into a our segue. next person who's going to be speaker. speaker. Yeah. Yes. So um, Dr. Douglas Frank, uh, he is the physicist who discovered the algorithm by which the 2010 census was used to fluff voter rolls. 
<laughs> Sorry, Fluffgate. Um, <laughs> shameless plug. That's an inside joke. Yes, it is. Um, so <laughs> I wasn't in on it, but it was still funny. <laughs> it was. Lewis it, County it people would understand. It'll that. always be funny. It will never <laughs> die. Yeah. Um, Heaven shirts made tomorrow. Um, so, Doctor Douglas Frank, he works for Mike Lindell, and he will be coming to speak at our Lincoln Day dinner as well. And then, additionally, Sharona Bishop, who is America's mom, she has a. All kinds of. She's got a YouTube. She's got a, a website. She is um, heavily involved in everything going on in Colorado, um, Mesa County specifically, and she um, has had her hand in flipping some school boards there. Even Ma- recently, is Mesa County where Boulder's at? I believe so. Okay, I believe so. I've never I think been to I Colorado, pulled records so. request there. Wasn't she also raided by the FBI? She was. was. Her and the clerk of Mesa County were raided by the FBI. Yeah. She was was actually raided recently. The clerk of Mesa County came to the cyber symposium, and she was raided the second she got on the plane. Is she a county clerk? (laughs) She was. uh, She was a county clerk. Interesting. Yes. I didn't know Uh, that part. uh, You know, the... Because of their involvement in election integrity yeah. and trying to keep our elections, uh, of, of clean. course, that, of course, clean. that's the reason. Well, How crazy! What, what is that? I'm, what I'm, leaning back and and rolling my <laughs> eyes over is it's like we're living in two parallel worlds at the same time right yeah. now. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because like all this Soviet style stuff is happening. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, to like, people we know. Yeah, but but we're we're still <laughs> able to sit here and have conversations and post this stuff on the internet without going to jail. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I, like yeah. there's there's still, there's still normal life no, happening for now. Yeah, for now, right? <laughs> There's still normal life happening, but at yeah. the same time, like people getting raided for the FBI for right. something I'm doing. It's like, whoa, yeah. Yeah. what's going on? Yeah. Side thing of just me reacting to that. So please continue. Yeah, it's idiot. Oh no, <laughs> yeah. I'm. That's that's about it. So, it's a, a couple of pretty incredible people. I mean, our whole yeah. our whole speaker list is pretty amazing. Yeah. Our MC for the evening, whom I'm sure will also talk quite a bit, is uh, Glenn Morgan. Washington's favorite activist. Yeah, we the governed. Let's, we I, the, I, the, I, governed. I the governed. Pl- please, please, please yes. go to Rumble and YouTube. Look up We the Governed Glenn Morgan and subscribe to him. He deserves your ears. He's yes. incredible. Yes. Glenn Morgan used to work at the Freedom Foundation he as well. Did. Yep. Yes, he did. How old is this Freedom Foundation? We've been around since the early nineties. That okay. made him sound like he's a dinosaur, and he's actually not that old of a guy. No, no, he's, he's not. like, how long is this Freedom Foundation? <laughs> Glenn Morgan worked there. Jeez. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> what year yep. did that? Oh boy. <laughs> well, uh, was there anything else exciting about the Lean Day dinner? Um, cocktails. Cocktails. Cocktail attire and yes, well, drinks. I guess. Be drinks. No, you don't have to you, wear you a gonna mask. T- you gonna tell people cocktail attire and not have cocktails? Oh no, we're <laughs> <laughs> what? We're doing beer and wine. We're we're beer in the wine. business of making wine. money. And seltzer, because I'm gonna be there. Yeah, and that's yeah. how I roll. And is it yeah. was that water beer? Water beer. <laughs> Fuzzy water beer. Fuzzy water beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we're really trying to make money, so. You know, maybe in the future, yeah, (laughs) bring (laughs) lots of cash. We're gonna have auction items. Some of them are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, So far, yeah, yeah. Some of them are kind of local. Um, so somebody has donated their cabin for a weekend or two. Okay. Mm-hmm. Something you know, just cute, just out in the middle of nowhere, which is we've got some we've nice. got some really good ideas for some stuff we're we're bringing, but we should probably discuss what uh, what we're fundraising for specifically. Yeah, the, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are we doing with this money? So, Does it uh, end up with Democrats again? No. <laughs> so or rhinos, which is just as bad. Yes, I said no. the word. You said <laughs> it earlier too. <laughs> you I said did. rhinos. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, you're going to be ostracized from the room. Uh, I only know a couple <laughs> of the right words. How about this? I'll go back. When I, when I edit this, I'll just put like a picture of an actual rhino. In the <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like cover my face with it. With, with like a bleep. <laughs> no, just put... Never mind. I won't say it. Don't say it. What was that? Are we being too loud? Are I we getting know. raided? I, Somebody just... Is no. this going to be like oh Tim Pool? Oh no, Are I, we going to get Tim Pool right I, now? I, I, I wonder if that's Beth. Hey, hey Dan. You want to answer that door? Okay. I don't know if he should. <laughs> I'm a little, me out a little uh, bit. We're getting knocked on. Temple. Yeah. Did Same anybody... Should we continue or pause? Does anybody have Are bill money? Are we pausing right now? I don't. I, I, We're I, not I can, make, I can make the determination after the fact. Is it Beth? Yes. Okay. It's Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. 
Uh, Beth was interviewed the other day. Here she's Hi. waving. Um, <laughs> she's going door to door telling businesses that they don't have to. Uh, she's very good at knocking. Yeah, oh, that they, they don't have to uh, uh, do any mask, COVID, anything yeah, per, no. per the yes, law. Yes, thank you, yeah. thank Monroe. you, Beth, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's rad. Uh, what the heck were we talking about before the FBI started raiding? Just the uh, Lincoln Day, the Lincoln Day dinner oh, fundraising. Yeah, where's purpose? the money going? So yeah. we are kind of lacking in infrastructure with our county. So one of the big are we things, talking like buildings? Or are we talking like websites? Republican Party, and all of no, the above. All, okay, <laughs> all of the above. Yes. So a lot of things require money, and so one of the essential things for elections is an office. We need an office. We need an office. We need it bad. So it would be nice to be able to pay for that, so they can't like kick us out or you know mess well, uh, with well, things. So, so hold on, you said. It, It'd be nice for elections if you had an office. But yes. The Republicans had an office or a place to count the votes for? Like, what do you mean? Lewis so, County Republican Party does not have an office. Right. Oh. So we have nada, nothing. An During an election, oh. it is really good to have a centralized location for people to maybe meet up, maybe uh, grab some signs to put up. Post maybe. candidate forums. Yeah. It just... There's so There's much. There's no centralized office. I got it. Yeah, yeah we, it's, we need an office. We yeah. So that's a big thing that we're gonna probably do. Mm-hmm. Those of us that are that are doing the things in the party right now, we're like doing it out of our car. We're yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're struggling. So yeah. if if we so bring had, the wads of cash, got bring it. the yes, wads please, of cash, cash, please. That we will need help. that will also help fund uh, our our collective, the Young Republicans, and. Yes. Uh, the the party people that are that share our vision, mm-hmm. it will help us um, see our goals. Yep, come to reality. Hell yeah. yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah! Hell yeah! Um, what else? I mean, it's it's basically like flyers, like a lot of print stuff and paraphernalia. And, yeah, and that Swag. all requires yeah. you know money. It'd be nice to be able to pay for somebody's trip. Somewhere, like if we need to, it'd be, one it'd of be our nice to um, be able to bribe a part-time employee to do some a fraction of what it is that we do. Yes. With, yeah, with income. Yeah, that would be beneficial. That would be extreme. And I don't want that job. I'm just. I'm going to yeah. let you yeah. all know right now. Fourteen dollars an hour. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. Right. Yeah. Right now, um, I don't know how behind you both are this even just this year, but. Uh, the involvement has actually cost me quite a bit of money. Yeah, yeah. it's cost, cost us some money too, like a lot. So it would be good to not be using our own money to right. yeah. to promote our ideas that benefit the party. It would be great if we could. The fundraise. party had a war chest. That yeah, yeah. Yes. reimburse chest. maybe some of the yeah. sort of, some yes. of stuff. Yeah, yes. Yes. yeah, and then, exactly. Yeah, and okay. so I mean. We want to use the funds to help get um, like-minded yes. Republicans elected to positions. We'd yeah. like to be able to go to all of the places and know exactly who needs to be replaced and what's open and whatnot and mm-hmm. find people. Yep. To And that, that requires money. I mean, we'd be hosting events, mm-hmm. promoting, so putting out flyers and so forth yeah. to bring um, in some interest to find candidates, recruit them, train them, and get them elected to positions. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it that, helps everyone. That is, if you, if the, you bring a little uh, bit of money, we'll do the work, and uh, we'll yeah. get good people elected to positions that will protect you and fight for you, and mm-hmm. and yeah, not, not lay yeah. lay over, not, 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 not fall on your sword at the eleventh hour. Yeah. 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 So okay, no so that recruit, train, and elect is actually the young Republican motto, mm-hmm. like the national motto, and. <laughs> I've told you this before. Maybe it's well, that stuck. Wasn't no, so. apparently <laughs> not. I remember the apparently thing. I didn't not. remember why. It's stuck apparently in not. <laughs> and so, um, and getting younger people involved yeah. uh, really helps with our ideas because yeah. the younger generation tends to be more conservative than the older generation by a lot. Yeah, actually, seems, yeah. It, the older generation just seems a little bit more moderate as far as maybe not their own values, but going along to get along. Yeah, yeah. we don't do that. No. We don't play that. Yeah, no. Nope. Good. So it's it's awesome to see uh, me and Aaron actually went to the National Convention we did, for Young yeah. Republicans. Mm-hmm. It was really awesome to see a whole bunch of young people from all over the country have 
basically like similar viewpoints on things. Yeah. No matter what. As opposed to being like, okay, which one of these guys are Antifa? Am I getting hit with a brick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, no. There was no yeah. blue hair there. Yeah. No, there wasn't. But uh, I did notice that red states are more softer than the blue states. We seem a little bit more gruff. Yeah, we're more aggressive because yeah. we have, we've we been fighting our we're whole fighting. lives. Oh, I see. So the, the red ideas. people in the blue states versus <laughs> yeah, the red people yeah. in the red states. Yes, yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, we're yeah, Republican. Yeah. We don't have any thing to fight for because everything we already have everything. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's part of the problem, the problem with our party, with, yeah. with our county is they they were always on top so they didn't have to fight and then basically they're the frog in the water mm-hmm. and the water started to boil but they're just hanging out right. having a nice swim until and, all of a sudden they're dead and yep. we're and we're savage and we're screaming we're at them and freaking mm-hmm. crazy yeah what are you doing we have to fight <laughs> against Jay Inslee every waking hour Ew. yes yes yeah yes please. <laughs> Jay Inslee. You mean Gay Blah. Inslee? <laughs> gay Dumsley? What? Jay uh, Dolph how, how about them <laughs> apples? Jay Dolph Astley. That's my favorite. That's okay, my favorite. Good. Glad. Anyway, so we've been we've been going a while here, yes, okay. and I think it's a good time to wrap up. Did any of you three had something have something that you wanted to add before we did that? Stop wearing the. F- Masks. Don't yeah. wear them. Please. Stop wearing them. Stop it. You Don't. all know that it does nothing. It doesn't. It's pandering. It, well, it's virtue yeah, it signaling. And it's illegal for a business to enforce it on you because they don't have, I mean, there's a ton of reasons, but one of which is they don't have a medical license. And yeah. It's a and you device. know what? If they're yep, going to yep. kick you out, they don't deserve Do your it. money. They, mm-hmm. well, well, that's Get actually, arrested. That yes. is actually illegal, too. your money too. for bail. That's illegal, too. Good. Then sue them when yep. you get out. Well, we've we've out got the, the people. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> we got Dan and Beth right here who have been on other interviews that you can go back and listen to. Please do. Uh, um, yeah. Who uh, we can tell you all about that of why it's the case, and they got paperwork for you too to use with it. So that's awesome. Yes. Um, going to oh crap. I was going wanting to, to talk. Well, you should no. have a pad of paper here. I know. I I should have because I was wanting to talk about it, and it just really just slipped my mind. Mm, there was something I wanted to talk about real Say quick. Say it really quick. Just well, three words. I, I forgot it, yeah. Okay. I, I was going to bring it up, but then I forgot it. That's okay. <sighs> it was really important. It was uh, probably a lie. Don't wear masks. Don't, don't stop wear it. Masks. Wear the masks. Do not comply. Don't get any more boosters. It won't make it go away. Yeah. It'll never stop. Well, Quit you participating. Gotta, you it requires be careful your participation. Because you don't want somebody to write a public statement about that. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? What? It... Since you have the opinion about the vaccines and the mask, you don't oh, want somebody else to right. write an opinion. Piece Especially about someone it. within your own party. For yeah. God's sake, stop the infighting. You know what? Yeah. We're the, <laughs> That's we're a the big face. Thing. We're the future. Stop yes. fighting us. Stop fighting us. Stop fighting us. Yeah. It's Let's futile. Go. I don't know what happened, Let's but go. apparently I think you can figure out what happened. <laughs> Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. Yeah. All of that. Okay. Well, with that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Rachel Anderson. Yes. Lacey Clark. Aaron Voles. Hey. Thank you for being with us <laughs> yep. today. This has been Dylan Moore with Irita TV. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, stop. Actually, I don't even think this will make it on YouTube because we made fun of COVID. Um, <laughs> yes. So if you're not following us on somewhere else, go follow us somewhere else because stuff like this doesn't make hey, wait, it on wait, YouTube. Wait, wait, wait. Should we plug um, how people could get tickets to come to the Lincoln I guess yeah. so. Okay, so you can grab your tickets by going to lewiscountyrepublicans.org. Uh, there's a tab on uh, the top that'll say our Lincoln Day dinner, and you can buy tickets there. Awesome. Um, I also kind of want to plug our social media, which is Lewis County uh, YR, which is Young Republicans. And we have Facebook, Instagram, and a Telegram. Okay, so uh, Lewis County YR is the same over all those different social media? Yes. Okay. Great. Any other Great. plugs? Yes. <laughs> um, I admin a Telegram page called Washington Patriots TS. That stands for Tori Says. Um, and if you don't have Telegram, go to telegram.org and download the app. Yeah, yeah what are you doing yes. if you don't have Telegram? I, yeah. At this point, I don't know, but I am just <laughs> I'm just walking people through it. Uh, if you go through Google Play, they will censor certain posts. Yes. So if you go through telegram.org, there's no censorship. And um, it's a great app. And I am on there as Cabbage Farmer, and you can look for me, and I will invite you to my private Washington page that has about a 1,000 members across all of Washington State. Uh, Fucking shit up. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> we're doing a great job. We're doing a great job um, being activists. <laughs> it just had to slide that in there. <laughs> It's good. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Please join okay. join the cabbage farmer in Washington <laughs> Patriots on Telegram. Okay, and we're please. all on there. So with that, wrap it up. This has been Dylan Moore. Yes, with Irita TV at Irita.tv. Please go there and follow us at the social media of your choice, not YouTube. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.